Hey guys. So, um, my last video I mentioned that I was going to make a video of my collection plans for this year, so this is that video. Um, I was going to film this last week, but it didn't really work out. So I'm doing it now. Um, hopefully you can read this okay, I'm not quite sure if it's showing up as well as I want it to, but, you know, I'm just going to go with it. So, um, this is my list. Well, part of it, there's more on the back. But, um, I've categorized it, and I'm just going to start at the top and go through what I want to collect for this year. So, first thing I wrote is, um, Monster X. They just get their own little category, because I collect them differently than the way I collect everybody else. So I buy a lot of Monster X things that, if another group put them out, I wouldn't buy them for that group. But I'm a landfill for Monster X stuff, so this is just expected. So, um, I'm not going to go too in-depth in what I want to collect from Monster X. Mostly, um, my collection's looking pretty good. I just need to keep up with their albums. And I'm hoping this year to finish my poster collection, which shouldn't be too hard. And then, of course, my photo card collection is always under work, so... Yep, Monster X is priority for me. But the second category is um, groups that are currently I have a completed collection for and I want to keep it completed. So currently that is Stellar, Bestie, um, Hot Shots Korean discography, Snoopers Japanese discography. I have bought um, their Japanese single, but it's not here, but I still wrote them down anyway. So, yep. And then Ladies Code, I put a little star next to them because if you want to be technical... My collection's not complete because I don't have their first three albums, but I'm not really looking to get those unless I can find them for a really good price because they're very expensive, and I'm just not willing to spend the money on it. But I have their two um, new single albums that they released in 2016, and I want to keep up with everything they put out after that. So yeah, I'm hoping to keep these five things in this category. And then I have a bunch of... The, um, collections that I'm working on and I want to complete. They're not quite done yet. First one is Snooper's Korean discography. Me and Snooper are forever like fighting with each other because they put out an album and it takes me forever to buy it and then I get it and then like two months later they put out another one and then I just go through the same cycle. So I have everything except for Reign of Mind which I'm hoping I'll be able to get in March but I don't know I just I don't really have the money for it at the moment. But yeah, I need to get that one. And then Mama Moo, I need to get Memory. So this is basically the, the same thing with Snooper. And then if I can ever find the pink version of Hello, I would like to buy that as well. I really don't need it to complete my collection because it's not any different than the red version. But I want it anyway. But it's so hard to find. So, I don't know, we'll see. Then um, Romeo, I need to get First Love. I don't have any versions of Miro and I'm not sure I'm gonna get any because First Love is basically that same album with like two more songs so if I get that it basically cover their third mini album but I don't know so First Love definitely and Miro maybe Boys Republic their Korean discography I just need one more album which is kind of hard to find so I'm really hoping to get them done this year 24k I need three albums. I need their first two minis and their um, first full length album, Bingo. Even though their minis are on Bingo, I still want the minis anyway. In the song June, I'm missing two albums from one of which I should be able to get and the other one might be a little bit of a struggle. It's a Japanese album. So hopefully I can finish that. And then Nine Muses, I'm missing so much crap from Nine Muses. But I need to get my ass in gear and work on them. And then day six, still missing Daydream. I'm still annoyed at myself that I don't own it. And so yeah, definitely gonna get that this year. And then I don't know what exactly their plans are for this year. I know they're doing that every day six thing. Like each month they're putting out new songs, but I don't know if there's gonna be a physical album like at the end of this. I really hope so, cause I'm loving their new song, I Wait. It's so good. But anyway, um, yeah, if like any physical album they put out, I'm gonna buy it because they're just too good not to. And then, um, so yeah, I want to finish these collections. And then groups that I want to work on: um, Shiny, Super Junior, Black B, B24, Infinite, and BTS. For most of these groups, they have actually all of these groups. They have massive discographies, so telling myself I'm gonna complete them this year is just not feasible. 
but I do need to fill in some holes in these. And part of the reason these I'm also not completing is because I don't know exactly what I want from each of these groups. Like, I know I want to get, like, one copy of all their albums, and if they have a repackage, then I want to get the repackage, but do I want, like, multiple versions of their albums? I don't know. And BTS, I haven't quite figured out where I'm going with their Japanese stuff. They've put that on hold, and it hasn't really changed <laughs> since, like, the first half of 2016, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I would like to finish my BTS Korean discography this year, though. I'm only missing a couple things, but they keep releasing stuff, and I can't keep up, and it's just, ugh. Then next, I have a question mark category. I do not know what I want to do with these groups. I've been thinking about collecting some of them, but I'm not sure. So they're just kind of in this question mark category. Like, if I get to them, then that'd be awesome. I'm really not hell-bent on collecting these groups. So I don't This is just kind of the... Everything a little bit different in this category. So Red Velvet. Um, I have been thinking about collecting them for a while. I'm still not 100% sure. Their discography is pretty small, so it wouldn't be too difficult to collect them. And I do really enjoy their music. So I may try to get a few Red Velvet albums this year. Um, Vix, I mentioned before that I want, I want to collect Vix, but there's just not a priority because they keep putting their older songs on, like, newer albums. And... It's just so much easier to just buy, like, their full-length albums because you get all their singles. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Then, um, 2016 Rookie Boys. There's quite a few that caught my eye last year, but I hesitate to say that I'm going to collect Rookies because sometimes, like, they debut and you love their music, but then their sound changes and you just don't love it anymore. There's a couple of rookies that that has happened to me and I like I own a couple of their older albums and I don't own any of their newer stuff just because I don't care for it as much so the rookies that caught my eye are Mask, Romance, who I'm actually playing in the background they're really great please love them um Victon, NCT, and SF9 um I need to hear more from SF9 before I decide if I want to buy any of their albums I wasn't in love with their debut single when I first heard it but it has grown on me a lot so I am going to keep an eye out for them. And then NCT, um, I mean, they're, they're from SM, so it doesn't really surprise me that I'm enjoying their music, because I tend to like most of what's coming out of SM. But I, I don't know if I'm going to collect them yet. I'm probably, probably going to buy their albums, but they're written, they're not a priority, so I might not get around to it this year. I don't know. And then, um, Mask has one album, really enjoy it, really want to get that. Who knows if they're ever going to come back, I have absolutely no idea what they're up to. Like, they put out their album, then they stopped promoting it, and I haven't paid attention to them since. So, but their album's really good. And then, um, Victon really liked their debut album, which is probably a dangerous thing, because the last time I liked a debut album as much as I like Victon's, it was Monster X, and we all know how that ended up, so, mm. They could be dangerous, but I want to get their album. Um, and then Romance loved their debut album. They just put out another one, and it's really fantastic. I'm playing it right now in the background. So great. Really love them. Probably going to collect them. Definitely going to get their two minis. Um, so, yeah. And then um, next, Boys Republic's Japanese stuff. I don't know if I want to collect their Japanese stuff or not, just because they are, like pedal to the metal with Japanese releases like they will not stop they're just putting things out and they keep putting them out and I just I it's overwhelming it's just overwhelming there's so many versions because they did member versions for their only girl Japanese single and I'm one of those people like I want all of the versions of all of the things for a lot of groups and I don't know if that's gonna be feasible for Boys Republic but yeah so, they're in the question mark category. Maybe I'll do it, maybe I won't, I don't know. And then these last two, I should probably... They probably shouldn't be in this category anymore, to be honest. Um, Cosmic Girls was not a huge fan of their debut album. It was not a bad album, it's just... 
it could be better. And then they put out Secret and it was like, that is the thing that I needed you to do. And it's an amazing album. I do own that one. And they just put out their third mini album and I'm really liking it. So I would kind of like to collect for them. And it would be really easy because they just have two more albums to get. So I'm probably going to collect for Cosmic Girls. And then VAV, this is a very new development. Um... I've been keeping my eye on them since Brotherhood. was not a fan of their debut, but then they put out Brotherhood, and I really enjoyed it. And with every song they put out, they just impressed me more and more. And a couple, maybe like last week, actually. Yeah, last week. Um, I listened to their newest song called Here I Am, which had been out for like three weeks before I even heard of it, which is a tragedy. Because it is a fantastic song. It was like... It's not like a real promotional song, it's just like a special Christmas gift song that they made for their fans, but it is a lovely song. Really, really like it, and it basically just shot them up on my list, and um, I was like, okay, I need to learn about this group, and so I watched their videos, and I am falling, I'm falling hard, like, I really like them. <laughs> So I'm probably going to collect, I re actually, no, there's no probably, I really want to collect them. They have three albums, so it won't be too difficult to collect them, so I'm going to collect their albums. So they should be down here. But, oh, there's a hair. Gross. Okay. Um, so yeah, really like VAV. Please check them out. They're really great, really adorable. I just really love them. I'm still learning all the members. Like, I got their names down, but it's putting the names to the faces that I struggle with sometimes but I'm getting there still really love them <laughs> anyway and then the last category is um groups that I don't either I don't collect or like yeah basically I haven't started collecting these groups and I want to so first is um high four I do technically own a high four album it is a promotional single though I never I didn't buy it I was just kind of given it which is a long story but anyway um yeah, I have an album, but I don't have any of their, like, official releases. And I really like High Force, so I would like to get some. Um, I do need to look into their discography a little bit more. I know they're mostly active in Japan. And I know they have at least too many albums, but I'm not sure if they have anything else. So I need to figure out what exactly their discography consists of. So yeah, I want to do that. And then Unicorn, a lot of people don't know Unicorn, but... They're pretty freaking great, so I want to collect them. They have two albums, and their second album is really expensive. And not because it's, like, out of print. It's just, like, a really big and heavy album. So it costs more than a normal album, and also the shipping price is really high. And I, like, I really want that album because it's a great album, but I'm just, like, oh, at the price. It's just, oh, it kills me a little. But it's still so good, so I want it. And then... Last thing I wrote here is um, Hot Shots Japanese Discography. They have one Japanese single. They released it in like June or July of last year. I've wanted it since it came out. I was actually going to buy it in November when Snooper put out their Japanese single, but um, I got Snooper's Japanese single through a different route than I had initially planned, which is... That's a long story. I'm not going to tell it, but anyway... Um, yeah, so I didn't end up getting it, basically, and I still want it. There's four different versions of that single. I want them all. I just need to, like, buckle down and buy the damn thing. So, yeah. That is my list. It is by no means complete. There may be groups I come across over the course of the year that I'm like, I want all of your albums, and then I'll get all of their albums. Or I'll try, and I'll probably fail. But, you know, whatever. So, yeah. You can't even read this anymore. It won't focus. There we go. So, um, thank you for watching my rambling collection plan video. We'll see how this actually ends up. I'm going to keep this list. And at the end of the year, I'm going to compare how I did to it. I'm probably going to be like, oh my god, I totally forgot that I was going to collect that group. For somebody on this list and yeah uh huh like I said thank you guys for watching and next weekend I might film a haul depending I guess I don't know
yeah, thanks for watching. have a good day. goodbye.